What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome. What's up? What's up? What's up? Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is, you may be watching, listening to us. Was good. Sam Sip Show with Bijou Style. We up in here. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. What's up, Bijou? How's your day going? It is going good. You know, it's a little rainy out there, but I got the sunshine on the inside. Yes, uh, Miss Brown, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Very well. Everybody had a good Easter and all that good stuff? Sure did. Yeah. Finally got to see my kids. Okay, they came so by. I was happy. Oh, you got to see everybody. I went to my sis, uh, to my uh, daughter's house. Okay. Did she oh, cook? That's good. She finally got to see them. She did. Oh, what she cook? Uh, she just cooked a few things that I ate too much of. Okay, okay. That's what's <laughs> up. What she learned that from you, <laughs> or she just, she just got the talent of her on her own. Well, you know, she's trying to get up to the speed of her mom's cooking, so you know, I'm gonna let her have that. Bijou, did you make a ham? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, I don't eat no ham, <laughs> but, but. Regardless of what I ate, I didn't do much cooking at all anyway. So, yeah, we had, we had you know, some, a little bit of this, a little bit of that type of dinner. A little bit, a little bit of that. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's what's up. But the I'm real. I'm detoxed. I couldn't cook none of the good stuff anyway, you know. What you mean? Well, you can't. The good stuff is like, you know, stuff, all the all the carbs and all the good old. Because yeah. I don't do the cheese, so I don't worry about the mac and cheese, but the carbs and yeah. the good candy yams and stuff like that. I just didn't do none of that, to, you know, because oh, I was man. detoxing. So, yeah, I gotta get to that another day. Yes, sir. Uh, what's up, Kamisha? What's up, Tyler? How you doing? What are y'all comments here? We're gonna read the letter today. Y'all help the person out. And uh, you can hit that Vox Pro with me, get this on in. And we're gonna help this person out with their real life dilemma. This one here is a trip already. I can, when you told me a little bit about it, I said, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can help this person out. All right. Dear Sam, I just broke up with my fiance from a long-term relationship, and I would like your advice on how to move on from where I am at now. I just don't know how to move on. We agreed that we weren't good for each other and to go our separate ways. I had some trust issues with him, but I find myself riding by his house, riding by his job, texting him to see if he's all right. I know what I'm doing isn't right, and even though we agreed to break up, I'm still hurting. Any advice would help. How do I move on? <laughs> I need every woman who ever been a stalker and had a, ha a hard time getting over somebody to call to help this woman out. Y'all got y'all see the number on the screen, 888. Who going to admit being a stalker? <laughs> 409031. <laughs> You're right. Who going to admit it? I'm going to listen to me. For all y'all who don't know if you ever been a stalker, all right? Break it down. Break it down. What's the definition? And we'll start we'll start with the new school first. If you are checking <laughs> their Facebook or any social media out <laughs> more than once, you are a stalker. Mm. Hold on. We got to add this part, Sam. Yeah. If you're checking it out with one of them ghost pages. Yes. You, made up. you see? How do you know that though, Bijou? Uh <laughs> Wait, don't do me like that. Don't you do me like that. Don't do me like that. I know. I what are you friends told people you? People got ghosts. Yeah, yeah. I know. Ghost pages yeah. don't have no followers. Don't, you just not following That's nobody. right. You just be stalking with a whole other name. That's right. That's right. That's no right. picture. That's right. That's serious. That's yeah. right. That's right. Man, if you ever went, if you don't, if you never went to their church, but now you go to their church and you sit in the back. <laughs> Ooh. You That's are weird. a stalker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you drive past their house and you convince yourself that you had to go the way to go to whatever way you was going, you are a stalker. If you convince yourself. You convince yourself you got to go, that I have to go that way to go home. Why do I got to go this way to get to where I got to go? You force yourself to go. You lying to yourself. If you ever say, I'm just going to drive by real quick. <laughs> and just see who in the driveway. That's all I'm be real quick. <laughs> Go and get your feelings hurt. Yeah. Oh you a stalker. God. Yeah. Okay, so that's a that's that's a, that's a little wide. That's a wide range, Sam. What you mean a wide range? That means just regular folks out here just stalking. Don't even exactly. Know. That's why I said it. They stalkers. 
is talking. So let me help this woman out. How would I listen, man? You you have to find things to do. The problem is you was already a stalker. He ain't the problem. You was the problem. You was like this before you even got with him. See, you you you, you got to have a hobby. You got to have some things you like to do. You got to have some things you want in life. And uh, all all you surrounded yourself was about him or whoever you was going to be with. You won't be good probably for the next person. You said you had trust issues. That's what you said. So you came into the relationship. You need a hobby. You need to find out something you like. What do you like to do? Like, mm-hmm. You, you need to him. right. You need to be okay to be by yourself. It is okay sometimes to just be alone. I'm not talking about forever, forever. But you need to be. If you can't, if you can't stand being with yourself for one day, something's wrong with you. Very true. <laughs> one day. I get that to you, fam. That's a fact. That's a fact. You're yeah. just a messed up person if you can't be with your old damn self. One day. Well, she loved him. She loved no, him. She, she just couldn't trust him. No, she had trust issues, period. Why Why is that? You can't trust somebody. Why are you still stalking them? Why are you, why are you pulling up on them? Why are you because going she up thinks to, they're going to get back together. Why are you going to his job? I want some ice cream today. And this is the only <laughs> place open during the quarantine. I think she feels like there might be a chance that they'll get back together, but if she just lets it go, then she'll she'll have more peace. All right, we hey, listen, y'all watching. Hit us up eight 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 four zero nine zero nine three one. Look at the hotline. Maybe somebody can call a woman or a man who who was once in this situation. It's okay to say you stalk one time <laughs> and you got over. Don't be ashamed. Go ahead. With y'all ghost pages. <laughs> Clarice, you ever been a stalker? Kamisha, you ever been a stalker? <laughs> what the comments you got coming in, man? What comments? Let's read some of these comments. All right. Uh, Adrian said, in time you will move on. You say it was a long-term relationship and that y'all agreed that you two weren't meant to be, so y'all probably still care for one another. Now, he might have moved on, so if you don't want to see something that might hurt your feelings, then stop the drive-bys. Give him a call from time to time. If you want to see how he's feeling. Now, Jubilee. Yeah. Jubilee said, uh, try and find someone new ASAP. Anybody ever been with your, you was with a new person and you knew that you had a stalker and then you was with the new person and then the uh, the stalker drove past you and blew the car horn? (laughs) Oh, you know what? Now, you know what? Ah, It's a certain type of fear that goes through your body. (gasps) <gasps> and she be like, "What's wrong with you?" Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you be like, "Oh!" She be like, "What's wrong with you?" You, you don't want to tell her that that this woman is following y'all, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's unfortunate. <laughs> and then she looking at you with a smile. That's how you know it's crazy. Yeah. You're smiling, being crazy. Man. If you got a smile on your face while you being crazy, I'm worried. Man. <laughs> All right, more comments. What you got? Um, let's see. Uh, Sean said they are giving $50 tickets, uh, per person. Well, no, that has nothing to do with the lady. Hold on. Let me go back to your other comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Cheryl said a breakup with someone you love is always bad. You mutually agreed to it. Yeah. We are on lockdown. So stop the ride bys and quit calling. You're sounding a little stalkerish, and you're really not concerned with his well-being. You want to know who he's with. This goes beyond hurt. Take this downtime and focus on you. Work out those trust issues before another relationship. That's right. Everything I told you, they said, too. You got to learn how to be alone. If you can't be by yourself and enjoy yourself, you got a problem. I said one day, at least two two or three days. Okay, well, you can just enjoy yourself. You don't have to be cooped up with somebody. If you can enjoy yourself, then maybe somebody can enjoy you. But if you can't enjoy yourself, how in the hell you expect somebody to enjoy you? Learn how to love yourself is what you got to do. Stop stalking right. people. I agree. She got that music playing when she pull up. 
And when you stalking, you hear voices. When you stalking, because a voice tell you to go do something. Go, Psst. He probably, he probably in his brother's house. How you know? Mm. Let's oh. drive by and see. <laughs> If all that's happening, you need some medication. <laughs> listen, if you got them voices, them voices that you listen to and can't stop, go, oh, yeah. Psst, he probably got a broad over at the house. You think he do? Yeah, girl. No, oh, that's him talking back. <laughs> right. Oh, see, I'm not talking back to me, Sam. <laughs> you think he do? <laughs> let's, let us go over there. I'm going to be with you, girl. <laughs> Oh goodness! We talk about real psycho stuff here, Sam. You know so much about this yourself. See, she talk about me. Right? Sam got this. This is not like some personal experiences. I I was to talk to somebody on their way to you, and they was all by themselves when they got there. Look, look, I was. (laughs) (laughs) Said she told me. She told me, (laughs) and you trying to figure out the she. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, last comments coming in before we go. All right. <laughs> Yvette said a breakup is like a death. You're mourning. Delete and block his number so there's absolutely no contact. Everyone needs a support. Uh, spend time that, with family and friends. That blocking, Only time that can blocking them don't work either, can you? Cause it don't you, work. Because you know you blocked them. And then oh. you go back and unblock them. Well, you got to delete the number so that it's not in your contacts. Yeah. That's the key. Not with our phone. It still come up. It'll say, maybe be so-and-so. You know what? Might be so-and-so. They act like caller ID on the on the house phone now, don't right. they? Right. I don't understand that. Come That's on. only if he calls you back. I star six seven for our coffee. And remember that you have to hit star six seven right. before you call somebody if you want to say private? Yeah. I'm going to start doing that on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> What's up, Alvin? All right, last one. I won't interrupt you this time. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Danya said, no regrets. Keep moving. Too much idle time on your hands. Get busy doing other things. You're hurting your own heart. You are in control. You probably just miss the comfort. You really don't want him. Move on, sis. Time to move on. That's what you got to do, Ma. That's what you got to do. Do like Keisha Cole and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, do me a favor. Share this video with your family and friends, those who might be a stalker and they might need this to help them. (laughs) Share this video. We'll holler at y'all, man.